And this week we read of the building of the Jewish nation. The tribes. And the underlying theme seems to be the competition among the four wives of Yaakov over who's going to have the greater share in the future of the Jewish people. Who will have more of the kids? You know, the Torah lets us in on, on a, the personal life of Yaakov Avinu and his family. And it's all about competition. Well, if I can't be the mother, let my maidservant be the mother. It seems that this, this is the secret. This is the secret of building the Jewish people. This is the secret of building the Jewish people. I gotta be part of it. Come on, let someone else do the job. No. I gotta be part of it and I gotta get as much of it as can be. What is it that you're getting? I want to build. <clears throat> Why is it that you can't leave it to somebody else? This is not jealousy in who is going to get the greater part of the inheritance. <laughs> fighting about money. They're not fighting. They're competing with one another. Who's going to have a greater share in building the Jewish nation? Every one of us is unique. Every one of us has a different personality. Every one of us has a different set of experiences. And every one of us has what we call Shorish and Hashama, a particular, a particular and unique soul that is a very specific piece of the whole truth. An angle that no one else has got. A way of looking at things. That, that, that's so you. What are you supposed to do with that uniqueness? What's it for? To make life interesting because there's so much diversity? What's it for? It's a privilege, but it's a responsibility. Whatever it is that God invested in you, you want to see that coming to fruition in the best way possible.
you know, raising a family is not just bringing more Jewish kids into the world. <laughs> Maybe fun when they're cute, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> Wanting a part in the Jewish nation means I want what was put into me. The appreciation of, of Torah, of Judaism, my unique relationship with the Creator. This is something I want to perpetuate. Certainly that was so when you're dealing with the patriarchs, the matriarchs, the others, these are the people that built the Jewish nation from scratch. But it's true to this very day. The Gemara tells us when you teach someone else's kid Torah, it's as if you gave birth to him. What does that mean? You see, it's the same idea. <coughs> Teaching Torah means sharing your appreciation. Making it part of his life. Making it part of his experience in Judaism. It's the same idea. It's perpetuating that uniqueness that you've got. You know, we've got an obligation to teach your kids. We've got an obligation to teach our students. <clears throat> what makes someone your student when you teach them? Bit of a funny one. You've got to teach your students. But they're only your students once you teach them. You've got to make students. Part of the Jewish experience is to become wise and share it. Part of the Jewish experience is discovering your uniqueness. Not what you wear, not what you eat. It's your way your way of appreciating God's wisdom. And consequently, your way of looking at the world, your way of looking at Judaism, your way of looking at Torah, it's yours. And we've got an obligation to share it to it that that which was brought into the world by Hashem giving you your, your, your facet of truth to see that that's perpetuated. You know, we're always talking about the obligation to see to it that we all have responsibility for the Jewish nation You've got to share everything you learn, share it with others. <coughs> Make sure that what you're sharing is you. Be excited to share what's you. 
We don't believe in giving people scripts and sending them out. We believe in every one of you becoming independent, getting the skills so that you can access all the sources, get the skills so that you can learn to not just be superficial, but understand things in depth. And you're encouraged to go and integrate them into your lives and become that great person you can be. <clears throat> make sure that's what you're sharing. And make sure you develop the desire to share it because this is an obligation. It's not just an obligation, it's a definition of what a Jew is. A Jew studies divine wisdom, digests it, integrates it, makes it his in a way that no one else can, and is excited and shares it, and helps further build the Jewish nation. Face it, if God created you, that means you're needed. Your insights are needed. Your way of looking at things, that has to, that has to come into the world, has to become part of reality. You don't develop it or you don't share it. It goes to waste. It goes to waste. That's not what God had in mind. You gotta feel the responsibility to find your, your unique way of looking at things. Once you know how to do that, your insights, your struggles, those moments of truth to make sure you pass that on. That's what the Jewish nation is made of. So yes, every one, every one of them wanted their part and as much of it as possible. That's what the Jewish nation's about. So build yourselves, grow, get the skills beginning with reading, analyzing, and being able to really intuit the insight. And then you'll discover yourself. Work through your own issues, build yourselves, your way, your way of building you and make sure you share that. Make sure that becomes a permanent fixture in the Jewish nation because others will think like that. And then of course they'll add it with their own. They'll add their own to that. So build the Jewish nation. Have a part in it. Make sure that the Jewish nation will perpetually include your uniqueness and your greatness.